Hello and welcome to Wolfman Gaming. This is my Plague Tale Requiem blind playthrough. And this is episode 3. We have just come to our new home. After <laughs> having a really shitty journey going here, we ran into... I'm not quite sure if those guys are the bee farmer's friends or if it's the bee farmer's without their... Wicker basket hats. <laughs> but hopefully we'll find out along the lines of this game. Come where? The island. He'll be healed there too. Healed? Well, that would be nice, I'm sure. Me it will be. You're thinking too much. Sometimes it's better just to trust your feelings. I'm trying, but I... I get stuck in the logic of it. Substances obey natural law. The macula does too. You don't need logic, Lucas. You just need to be human. Maybe... I'm just not very good at being human. You are. This is why you have doubts. today must have woken it we had six months of respite after he passed the second threshold but the balance of his blood is very delicate Amicia go with Lucas Magister Rodin is somewhere in this town find him and tell him to come quickly right away Amicia I know we'll be careful always go prepared It's because of those farmers. I should never. Oh. It's not your fault. How can you be so sure? And I something I must say about this the game and its uh, the prequel or predecessor. Really the voice acting the the is top notch. I don't know I don't the names of uh, Lord, the people doing me. the voices for Hugo and Amicia or I Lucas for that matter. Already. <laughs> I don't know the names of any of the voice actors, but they are doing a banger of a job. And I remember back in the first game, there was one part in... Uh, I think it was one of Amicia's death animations or a scripted moment, something. It's been quite long since I played the first game. There's a couple of florists there. Uh, you can really hear the panic in her voice. I remember recording my blind playthrough of that game. I could feel the chills up my spine. <laughs> Just due to the genuine feeling of panic in her voice. So great job and they deserve all the praise. I'm looking for so I and that is something that has really evolved. He's the one who deals in medicinal herbs. Oh. But Morton should be right by the fountain. Just tell him I sent you. He's wearing a brown tunic. Brown tunic. Thank you for your help. Or not evolved, but progressed. I, tells us. I don't know what he the works. correct term is. But it has is something that has gotten so much better over Excuse the me, last generations of video us? games and uh, I'm busy cleaning this mess because remember the we first him? PlayStation 1 era was the first time I encountered Listen, voice acting in games we need him immediately. Oh, all right all right I don't know precisely where but I think he lives close to the arena down there 
Don't tell him I sent you. Don't worry. Thank you. Right. Let's not waste time. The arena district. That's a lot of houses. How are we going to find him? Uh, yes, back in PlayStation One era. I think even the first game I encountered it in was uh, may have been Resident the Evil One. So what would a magister be doing here? Probably and Probably anyone and everyone who has played. If you're old like me, <laughs> remember when uh, Resident Evil came out, you may remember quotes as You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> or Barry, where's Barry? The thing is, it was amazing. I was impressed when that game first came out that it had genuine voice acting in it. Sorry. There's a door up there. Yes. But the quality of it though <laughs> was horrendous. In in a fun way. I'll give him that. And now in retrospect, it's I find it hysterical. And also I think it was Silent Hill one where he says, a uh, radio. What's going on with that radio? <laughs> Because it was a new thing back then, and I don't know, I don't think the voice act Is it? Or the people right. they used yes. weren't voice Maybe actors you know. as profession, I think. Now this so is just me free. guessing. Not starting. But I think like you. being getting big in names like here. Nolan North and Troy Baker Let's find was something that came She's a little bit already. further in and Troy Baker is quite interesting because the first time I heard his name was in the context of The Last of Us. I had, as far as I knew, I had never heard of him before. And then I watched a video at some point about the many voices of Troy Baker and realized even though I hadn't heard of him, I had heard him many times because that guy is one busy boy and uh, he was also doing the voice for James Sunderland back in Silent Hill 2 and that game I remember had quite good voice acting I think but that was the PlayStation 2 era where they starting to get into more of a groove and I think there were games back on PlayStation 1 that were, had good or at least decent voice acting as well. Because I remember I played, uh, for example, Tenshu Stealth Assassins, Metal Gear Solid. Just leave that person to his own devices. single uh, coin. But there were some super cheesy ones. Find him. I could ask and, uh, for I'll make you move. Thank that bastard count for letting you die like a dog. And uh, those are quite fun <laughs> to remember because they are like a time document of that era. But once again, I uh, I got lost. <laughs> I feel <laughs> sorry. Uh, as I said, yes, voice acting has become great. I think this game has awesome voice actors. I don't know if the people doing the voices of Amicia and Hugo, for example, are as young as the characters they are portraying. I'm guessing Hugo must be quite young unless there is like a woman doing the voice of him. Could be. Or maybe just quite a young kid and doing a very, <laughs> very good job. Sorry, blanked out there for a second. Oh, it 
And I'm not sure what this arena is supposed to be. If this is some kind of gladiator arena or something. Seems like it because there are a lot of corpses. This probably is the slums. It's full of bodies. Don't look at them. And you think Amicia should be hardened <laughs> by now. I remember back in the first game there was there were some nasty parts. These games are very It's still going on in Guyenne. Uh, very dark. Yes. Where the hell am I supposed to go with this thing? It wouldn't have changed a thing. I just need to check where I'm supposed to take it. Right, over there. Yeah, as I mentioned in a previous episode, these, uh, these games are really dark. Remember back in the first game, there was a place where you were sneaking through a city and uh, there was a giant gallows and you snuck beneath it. I think there was corpses and blood. Much like this place. <laughs> and just so very grim is probably the best word for it. And I was quite shocked because when I bought the first game that game took me a bit by surprise because I didn't know much about it it was a brand new title uh, I just I think I just stumbled across it in reading uh, reading about upcoming games Yeah, don't be a wuss, Lucas. It's up to you. Well, it's good Amicia is here to take the, the uncomfortable choices. The, the type of choices that can scar you. If these people fell ill, it means some must have been bitten. I've seen no signs of attack. So, in this place, we have... Uh, yes, how I found out about the first Plague Tale game was, I think I just read about upcoming games and I liked the title and I was looking for a new game to do a blind playthrough on. So I bought it on pure chance and uh, haven't regretted it. Regretted it because I think the first game is super fun even though it is super dark and uh, I actually dipped my toes back in the first game a few months ago I wonder can I yes you can hide beneath the table because I went back into Innocence, as I said, a few months ago because I wanted to go for the Platinum. And I didn't play through the entire game start to finish. I did use Chapter Select and a Collectible Guide because the collectibles were basically what I was missing. And great thing about that game is that it saves collectibles the very second you pick them up 
they are instantly saved which is a great feature I think all games should feature that if they are sporting collectibles because it makes it so much more enjoyable when you don't have to like pick up a collectible and go through the entire chapter Let's see, if he goes up to examine that corpse, yes. We can use the confusion to sneak yes, out. We made it. We did. But I'm weary of the thieves, murderers, mercenaries, all the bloody scum. How streamlined was that? <laughs> You're getting better at handling them. I see it. You were pretty discreet back there. Well, better to let live. Prudence. I not dying myself. <laughs> I like Ugh, that. Prudence. That. Dead bodies. It sounds like a woman. Hospital. Very highborn. Or actually, no. It sounds like the head them. servant I of a house back in like the 1700s or something like that. Miss Prudence, she will take your cho shoes and serve the wine in the dining room. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all depressing a sight. <laughs> Dead people with their child. Please tell me this is it. I don't remember if this actually is it. Right. Because crossing this mess won't be easy or quick. It's the order. A high magister would just live in a high tower, no? <sighs> Let's just get there. I'm still quite pleased with how I sure snuck is. through the previous section. Because something I've realized, which I'm gonna try to implement even through the parts that I haven't seen before. Wow, do you see her belt going in and out of her tunic? Her vest? Is that when you get into a section, when they're going through the scripted moments. Oops. I'm not gonna skip any cutscenes. That was me. I thought we're starting a running section. Please don't hurt me. Calm down. We're not with those men. You live here? Yes. The rats are returning. As I've said, this is grim. This is really grim. <laughs> Skeletons where they have gnawed off. Yes, director, the Stanley Kubrick's shiny. Right, right, right. We have to run towards the camera. Will we get out of this? I, I need to breathe. <laughs> to get out of here one way or another. 
Well, that is something we'll find out in the next episode. <laughs> I'm going to end this one right here. But I want to thank you very much for watching. And I will see you again in my next video. So until next time, this is the Wolfman signing off.